Hey everyone, let's take a look at Tailwind's transform utilities available since version 1.2. To make things a little bit easier to process, I have done two things here. First, I have created this extra element, which is sort of a placeholder ghost element to outline where our main element was positioned before the transforms were applied. If I comment this div out, you can see we have this transparent shape sitting underneath. The other thing I've done is apply transition utilities to our element. I've decided to use hover states to demonstrate our transforms and transitions will help process how transforms are affecting the element from its origin. Transition utilities are covered in more details in another video. An important thing to know is for any transform utility to work, you need to apply the class of transform first. This is a toggle class in Tailwind that enables all transforms. Without it, other transform utilities won't have any effect, so make sure you apply this class first. The first family of transform utilities is scale transforms. Let's go with hover scale 75, and our shape will shrink to 75% of its original size on hover. We can also independently scale the width and height of the element. For example, I could shrink the width in half with hover scale x50, and increase the height with hover scale y150. Next, we have rotation utilities. For example, the rotate45 class will rotate our elements by 45 degrees clockwise. Minus rotate45 will rotate it counterclockwise. Rotate utilities are a great opportunity to explain the transform origin utilities. By default, transforms are applied to the center of the element, which is what the origin center utility does. See how the shape spins right on its center right now. If I change the origin to origin bottom left, the shape will now pivot from its bottom left corner. Origin top will pin the rotation on the middle top of the element and so on. I'll remove the origin utility and next we'll look at translate utilities. I can translate the element on the x-axis with, say, translate x4. I can move it half the width of its container with translate x1 half, or move it 100% of the container width to the left with minus translate x4. Of course, you can do just the same on the y-axis with translate y classes or combine both X and Y axis translations together. We also have skew utilities when you want to distort some elements. These are available on both the X and Y axis as well. The best thing about these translation utilities is you can compose them together. For example, I can rotate my shape by 90 degrees, but also use translate X full and scale 125 to achieve a pretty cool sort of rolling snow cube effect.